<laughs> Alejandro in California, thank you so much for waiting. You're on with Jenna and Matt. How are you? Hey, Matt. How are you doing today? Doing well. Exceptionally well, evidently. Excellent. 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 Now, I want to make sure I don't straw man your position. So I just want to make sure that you're defining atheism as a lack of belief. You are specifically not no. claiming that God does not exist, and you are not claiming that God does exist. Have I got that right? It depends on it depends on the definition of a God, but I, the, the the overall position for me is that I am not convinced that a God exists, and yes, in fact, I hold that that should be the default position. Okay. Well, the problem is because we're not saying God does not exist and we're not saying that God does exist, that's basically just your opinion. And there's no, no, way no, no it's not. <laughs> can be the default. No, it's not. This is this is a foundational issue. So here's the thing. Let let's let me use rights as an example. Okay. Either we begin with right. you have you you have all rights and freedoms except for the ones we limit, or we begin with you only have the rights and freedoms that we specifically codify. Right. Those are the two primary options of of protecting rights. I, I'm I'm asking for assent. I, I'm really trying to follow it, but near as I can tell, it's one of those things where either rights are ordained by God or they're human constructs. No, oh, there aren't there. Where you're no, 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 no. God is irrelevant to this. Um, I'm getting ready to do a, a video next week on God given rights. There are no rights that are guaranteed by God. There's no demonstration that there is a God to guarantee rights and rights give, that you think are granted to you by God are irrelevant. The only rights that matter are what we as individuals codify and protect. And when we do that, we either begin with you have all rights and freedoms and then we restrict and limit those based on need, or you have no rights and freedoms until we expressly grant them. That's the way granting rights in society works. And so we yeah, should begin. Presupposing atheism. I'm yeah, you're presupposing atheism. Alejandro, I'm not oh. presupposing atheism. I'm describing rights. Okay, well, you, 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 you I'm describing that God, the God it, hypothesis, you just toss that out the window. and Yes, that's say, not presupposing. Yeah, Alejandro, you know, Alejandro, please stop. Please stop. Please stop accusing me of doing something I didn't. I'm sorry that you don't understand this. I'm trying to explain it to you. We as a society are going to protect rights of individuals. It doesn't matter where you think rights come from. It doesn't matter if you think God wants you to have a right. We as a society are going to grant people rights that we protect. And we do that in one of two ways. You either grant all rights and then restrict things as need be, or you grant no rights and only grant the rights that we codify. Those are the two primary options. That's it. I'm not saying it has no, it doesn't make you're still, you're still Alejandro. You're still, I am making Alejandro. I am making no declaration about whether or not there is a God. This has nothing to do with theism and atheism. This is about rights. Please stop accusing me of something. I didn't just because you can't get off your fucking script. If somebody says to you, the Loch Ness Monster is a real being, okay? Are you still there? Okay. Now, what is, the, what is the default position? Do you begin by believing it, or do you begin by not believing it, and you have to become convinced? Well, well here's the thing. That's a simple That's question. <laughs> That's a simple whoa, 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 question. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to I'm going to let you speak. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to I'm I, I may not let you speak. I'm going to let you speak, but I asked a simple question. Either you begin by believing it the instant you are presented with the claim or you don't believe it until you become convinced. Which of those is the case? They are absolutely equal. No, they're fucking not. That's boneheadedly stupid. Is that an when you are presented answer? with a claim, if I tell you there are fairies that live in my garden, do you begin by believing it the instant the claim is made, or do you begin by saying, I do not believe there are fairies in your garden until you convince me? Well, he made the claim that they're equal. About fairies, so I would say, no, I have reasons not to believe in fairies. That's not the question. Why won't you address the question honestly? If, if I tell you, well, I have a, if I, no, I'm not Alejandro, you are interrupting and accusing me of things it's not. So here we're going to make this really fucking easy. If I tell you 
there's a Fergal burgle in my garage. Do you believe me? What's a Fergal burgle? Do you believe me? Matt, I Do have you believe me? to not believe. Do you believe I me? I just said that. I have good reason. Do you believe me? I have good reason. Do you believe me? Believe. I don't Do believe. Do you believe me that don't there's a Fergal no. burgle in no. my garage? He's saying no. I, I want a yes or no. Do you I, believe I me? I have good reasons not to believe you. I, I want a yes or a no, jackass. Would do you believe me when I say it? Why won't you answer the question? I've answered it several times. No, you haven't. I want a yes or a no. I even said do, I it. do you so believe? No. I'm, I'm going to ask you one more time. I I, I'm going to ask you one more time, Alejandro. I'm going to ask you one more fucking time a yes or no question. And if you don't say yes or no, you're done. If I say there's a Fergal burgle in my garage, do you believe me? No. Okay, thank you. That's why was that so hard? Because I have good reasons not to believe you. No, you don't. You don't even know what a Fergal That's Burgle is. Not. You don't you don't have good reasons I, not to believe me. Reasons. Your default position is that that's you are one of the you are not con no no no. You are not convinced that it's true. So what if Fergal Burgle is the reasons. name of his car? No, you don't. You don't even know what the fuck it is. There you that's go. That's the point. No, no, no. So oh, what if, what if a Fergal Burgle? No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. <laughs> the fact that you don't know what something is doesn't mean you have good reason not to believe it. That is a fallacy. This, is, this shit is really easy, Alejandro, if you stop putting your baggage in front of it and just answer the question. Do, okay, if, so what if your car is, no, is named Fergal Burgle? Okay, now I believe you. So you're an idiot. Bye. So it depends on whether you understand it determines whether or not that's true. So you have to understand what a god is before you can believe that it's true. Okay, well then I I I still don't understand what a god is. You're not being honest in this discussion, okay, well, and it's let, been let, that way from the big get go me. because you accuse me of assuming a goodbye goodbye. Yeah. You're done. You are done, Alejandro. You don't Thank accuse you. me. You don't accuse me of assuming atheism. And I tried three different times to come up with an analogy that has nothing to do with theism or atheism to get you to recognize the truth, which is when anyone on the planet is presented with a proposition, their default position is that they are not convinced. Becoming convinced is a process and you can become convinced for good reasons or bad reasons. But before you are presented with a proposition, you don't believe it. And when you are presented with it, you either are convinced of it based on evidence or you are not convinced of it. Those are the only two options. You're either convinced or you are not, period. And when it comes to the proposition that a God exists, the default position is that you are not convinced until you become convinced. Becoming convinced is a process and it's done for good reasons and bad reasons. This is as straightforward as you can get. The default position is to not be convinced of something and then you become convinced. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Does that make sense? Or are you going to okay, accuse so me of assuming? That, does that make sense? That, or are you, are you, are you going to accuse me of, of assuming atheism again? Matt, can I, can, I, can I get into this now that I've just established what you're saying? All right. Look, I, 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 why there, won't you answer the question that you're asked? Okay? Why I, won't you ask it? Why, not, shut not up. And now you're saying. Shut up. You're on mute. You're, nobody can hear you but you. Literally nobody can hear you but you. Why won't you answer the question that I ask you? You're unmuted. The question that I, you asked me, the question that you asked me is whether I believe that there is a Fergal burgle in your garage. No, no, now, we're, we move beyond I that question, Alejandro. Is. We move beyond that question. Now, I'm answering the question. You, you, no, you're not, now, because that's not the question the at hand. Is, but I believe I know what God is. No, you don't. I can make a judgment. No, you don't. I don't. How are you accusing that I don't know what God is? Where how do you know? Is? How do you know what a God is? How, is? how do you know what dollars, Alejandro? You know what it is. Alejandro. Now you're doing that. To Alejandro. Me? No, because you're not fucking listening. Yeah. You don't know what God I'm talking about when I say God. Bingo. And yes. saying every single one of them is impossible. No, I'm not. Every and if you and no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Please tell me what please stop telling me what I'm saying because that's not true. 
I'm not saying that any of them are impossible, except for the ones that are logically impossible, That which is required for me to get a demonstration of somebody, a definition of their God. But if I say, I believe in a God. Oh, so you're it, arguing it, it, that God if, is oh my God. verifiable. Okay. Again. No, I'm muting you. Now you'll listen. Okay. Because we're going to take you to school, Alejandro, until you stop <laughs> being so smugly fucking superior. I'm saying that if I say I believe in a God, you don't have enough information yet to determine whether or not you're convinced, which means you cannot be convinced. So your default position is you're not convinced that my God exists. You don't know enough about it. So then you would have to ask me, Alejandro, what is my definition of God? And that, by the way, is what we keep trying to do on this show. When somebody calls in and says they believe in a God, I want to know what God, what's their definition of God? At no point have Jenna Norma me said, all gods are impossible. Please stop trying to put words in our mouth. At no point in this discussion did I assume the truth of atheism. Please stop trying to put words in my mouth. I'm speaking from a purely philosophical, logical foundation that when you are presented with any claim, whether it's about a God or anything else, you either already accept that claim once you understand what it's defined as, or you are not convinced of that claim. Those are the only two options. You're either convinced or you're not convinced. And my point is that the default position or claims is that you are default not convinced until you become convinced. You can be convinced by really bad reasons. That's all I've said. Is that clear? Yeah, we're clear. Okay, cool. You know, a really good test to see if it's clear is if you can say his position back to him. Okay. I know what his position is, but after Which he I just told you what it is. So what was it? Talk about it. His position is the default is not to believe something until you're convinced otherwise. Yep. Do you agree with that? No. <laughs> cool. Okay. Do you want to explain that? Because I'm curious. How is it? I'd like to know how is how the default position could be to believe something before you're convinced. Right. Bad food is poisonous. Bad food is poisonous. Um, or is poisonous food bad? I, I don't know. how. My question was, how can you demonstrate that you can believe something before you're convinced? And what came out of your mouth is bad food is poisonous. <laughs> okay. we Bad food is poisonous. First of all, bad food isn't necessarily poisonous. I've had bad food that wasn't no, poisonous. That food. That food. Oh, oh, oh so we, okay, okay. That food is poisonous. Food. Um, how can I possibly believe that if I'm not convinced? Are you going to eat it? That whether or not I eat it is irrelevant to whether or not I am, whether or not I no, believe no, it's poison. No, it is, what is very important. No, no, no Alejandro. Very you important. said, you say Alejandro, I Alejandro, I, actually eat the food. I don't know. But if you say to me that food is poisonous, I may believe you based on evidence. I may not believe you. And in either case, I still may not eat it. So you are just arguing from fallacy after fallacy. I said, show me how one can believe something when they are not convinced. Because belief is the result of becoming convinced. So show me how it's possible to believe okay, something well, without being well, convinced. The food is poison. I just, just showed you. So you didn't show me anything. You've made a you statement. No, Alejandro, you you've made a say. statement. Yeah. I I don't believe your statement. I asked you, I asked you right. to demonstrate. I, I asked you to demonstrate. Please stop interrupting me. I asked you to demonstrate how one can believe something when they are not convinced. And you making a statement that food is poisonous is not an argument. It's not evidence. It doesn't convince me of anything. I don't believe it. And I am not convinced. All you're doing is furthering my position that you can't believe something until you're convinced. That belief means you have well, become convinced. Okay, so are you going to eat the food that I, that's poisonous? I don't know. I don't know okay. if I'm going to eat it or not, so but I, we, Alejandro, is it possible that I don't believe you and that I still wouldn't eat the food? Well, the thing is, what you're Why saying won't you answer my question? I don't, I, no, I'm, I'm muting you again and I'm going to make you listen to me one more time. Okay. I'm trying to show you logic. I want to know, is it possible that you could say that food is poison? and that I may not believe you, and I also would not eat the food. Is that possible? 
it's possible. And good. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? You're probably going to get sick and die. No, it means that your position. Okay, you you're not serious. Okay. I'm done with you. You're not oh serious. You're God. just sitting there laughing. So here's the thing. When you argue with shitty arguments and you get exposed, this is why we want you to answer the question. Because if your position is that one can believe something before they're convinced and your argument for it is that food is poisonous, are you going to eat it? Well, no, I don't know if I'm going to eat it or not, but that's separate from whether or not I believe you. And that was the point I was trying to make, that it's possible that I wouldn't eat the food because I believe you. It's also possible that I wouldn't eat the food even if I don't believe you. Maybe I don't like that kind of food. You are a sloppy arguer. That's the point. <laughs> he's trying to, I think he's trying to get to Pascal's wager. Am I right? Like he's trying to be like, well, just act like it is because otherwise it's dangerous if you do. And it's like, well, I, that's not the same thing. That's not. I, I honestly don't know um, because he starts off with this, you know, oh, the default position isn't a lack of belief. Like, yes, actually it is. You, you, until you've been presented with a, a proposition, you can't accept it. Now, it may be the case, for example, it may be the case I've never heard of proposition, um, but that I already believe it. I just don't know that I believe it because I've never you know, heard the expression. So like if somebody came up to me and said, um, all roller coasters are terrifying, and it's the first time I've ever heard that sentence and been presented with that prospect in a, in, in a sentence. Mm -hmm. I may already believe it because I've been on a roller coaster and just never considered that proposition. But as soon as I do, the w wealth of information I have shows that, oh, yes, I agree. All roller coasters are terrifying. <laughs> it would still be a mistake because I haven't been on all roller coasters. Uh, right. And actually, I've been on some that weren't terrifying at all or pretty boring. <laughs> but it's possible that I believe something before I've been presented with this particular expression of it. But the mm -hmm. truth is the concept is something I already accepted. I just didn't have words for it. But if you present a concept that I've never been presented, like I've got a Fergal burgle in my garage, well, I cannot possibly say I believe that if I don't know what it is. Right. And so we need to dig in on what the definition is. And once the definition is, then the wealth of information I have may say, yes, I believe that. And I've always believed that I just didn't know what to call it. You know, mm -hmm. if, if somebody says, hey, is your religion henotheistic? And I don't know what the word henotheistic means. It may mean, I may believe, we're, we're getting ready to take a call on this, which is why I mentioned it. I may believe already that the that the religion is henotheistic. I just haven't heard the term. And so I, I, didn't, I haven't. I didn't know the term. Um, <laughs> so I don't and, know what that means. Well, we'll get to that.